one of my previous videos, I talked about a cream of chicken substitute mix that's dry that I can keep in the pantry and just pull out when I need cream of chicken soup. And so I thought that I would go into more detail with that today and go through specific ingredients and maybe even at the end make up a recipe with it, um, make up a soup recipe um, using the substitute soup. Okay, let's get to it. So the first ingredient, and all of these things are just pantry items. They're things you already have in your pantry, so you don't need to make a special trip to the store because you forgot to get cream of chicken soup or a cream soup. So these are just pantry items. So there's two cups of powdered milk. We'll just put that in there. And then there is three quarters cup of cornstarch. And then a fourth a cup of chicken bouillon. This is actually where you can save so much sodium. If you're watching your sodium intake, you can get the low sodium. If you've got regular in your pantry already, that's fine. You don't need to buy a special ingredient. But you just need a fourth a cup of it. You can even use your own homemade bone broth maybe that you've made. That would be a good choice as well. And then on the plate here, we have one tablespoon of onion powder. We have half a teaspoon of thyme. We have half a teaspoon of oregano and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And since there is pepper in this recipe, I went ahead and added one teaspoon of turmeric as well. Turmeric is has so many health benefits, but you can't absorb, in your, your body won't absorb turmeric unless it also has the black pepper. So that's the reason I went ahead and put that in there as well. So we're just gonna dump all of that in here and just give it a good mix. And that is cream of soup substitute. That is all that is required. Then we'll just put this in a quart jar here and keep it on our pantry shelf. If, you want, if your recipe calls for cream of celery soup, you could go ahead and add celery seed to it. You could um, just saute some celery in some butter and add that to it as well. If your recipe calls for a cream of mushroom soup, if you had mushroom powder because you've dehydrated some mushrooms and ground them up, um, you could put that mushroom powder in there. You could use um, canned mushrooms or just saute some mushrooms and put those in your recipe. Those would be good options for that as well. All right, so that is what our cream soup substitute looks like. And you can just put the jar, put the lid on the jar, and there you go. Make sure that you label your jar so that you know what it is, because this would be kind of hard to identify in your pantry with all of your other items. But since we've got this, let's go ahead and get it made up and see what it looks like. All right, to make the soup substitute, all we need is one third cup of the mix. And we need one and a half cups of water. And we're just gonna mix that around, get it a good stir. So here's what it looks like, the soup substitute in the pan with the water. It dissolves very nicely. All right, let's take it over the stove and get it thickened. So that's about as thick as it gets. Um, 
but it's got that nice yellow color and as you let it sit it'll thicken up a little bit more as well all right just a nice consistency it's not that globby kind that comes out of a can but something that you made just out of your pantry all right well let's make some corn chowder with it since we've got it made Now that we have our cream soup all mixed up and thick and ready to go, let's go ahead and put it into some corn chowder. This is just a real simple recipe. It's always been a family favorite. Served with cornbread or biscuits, it is delicious. And it starts with three quarter cup of celery and three quarter cup of onion, both of those diced. And we're gonna saute it in a quarter cup of butter just until they're crisp tender. So I got onion skin in there. I used pre-chopped onions that I had gotten at the store. And sometimes you have to fish out some skins. There we go. And as always, the onion and celery just smells super good. And they're being sauteed with some butter. I don't know if it's the butter that smells good or if it's the onions and celery. And then we're gonna add one and three fourths cup of milk. And we're gonna add our cream soup. You can see how nice and thick that is. And it's very yellow because of the turmeric that was in it. So we're just gonna pour that in there. Okay. looking great okay now we're gonna put in a can of corn well it calls for a can of corn I'm gonna put in about a cup and a half of corn so I've got the remaining of one bag I just got half of a nut there we go we're gonna call that a can get that stirred up then we're also going to add a half teaspoon of thyme. There we go. And I'm not going to add any more salt because there was salt in our cream soup um, substitute in the form in the chicken bouillon or in the chicken flavoring, so I'm not going to add any more salt. All right, and we're just going to let all of this get warm. And we're just going to heat it through. We're not going to let it boil because it does have the milk in it. But we're just going to heat it through, and then it's done. And that is how fast you can have a nice soup. All right, if you want to make your soup a little bit thicker, just add some cheese to it. I'm just going to put this in here, let it melt. That'll thicken it up pretty good. All right, it's melting pretty quick. You can see that it's a nice thick consistency.
All right. So there we have some, you can see the corn and the thyme and the celery, and you, can, you can't really see the onion very good in there. It's kind of blending in really well with the celery. But anyhow, here's the corn chowder, and you can double this recipe, you could triple it. It's just a very good, quick soup recipe that you can make. And we also used our cream of chicken soup recipe that's our substitute recipe so we don't have to use the soup from the store. All right, so today we have made our cream soup substitute. And with that, we made our corn chowder. So here is your mission if you choose to accept it. Ditch the canned cream soup and make your own. Thank you so much, we'll see you next time. It's good. <laughs> I recommend it. <laughs> Thank you.